Hey everybody, let's do a test run on the uh, saw for the collection. Now that's the kind of Super 2 you don't see every day. This is a Terry saw, hence the SL safety lever, aka chain brake. Pretty cool. Uh, was talking with a friend on House of Home Light the other day, and it was amazing how this summer, 2019, had so many saws that are odd for the US market, had so many saws come up for sale. I know he picked up a couple nice ones too. These safety lever or chain brake models are a prime example of that. You just don't see those in the United States hardly at all. I don't think they were sold here until the 90s. And by then, of course, it was plastic housings and somewhat different. So, obviously, huh, that logo is kind of a dead giveaway. There's something different. They're a Terry built saw. Think you guys will be able to read most of that so they have a unique engine sticker here ironically there's less stuff on here than the US models there's no starting instructions or anything I guess they figured that you had to be smart enough to run a saw if you were gonna buy one one would hope uh, you can see the, the engine housing this boss here ends up getting drilled and you put uh, your screws in there and there's a slot to that chain brake bracket and sliding it forward or back reduces or increases the, ch uh, the amount of pressure it takes to engage this. Where this is set right here, you're going to get about right there. So if you're in a kickback situation, normally where a guy's hand is holding it, you're going to get to somewhere right about here as it kicks back. So it's before it ever hits your face. So, you know. This may be old technology. This here is, oh boy, whatever the hell H is on the scale, somewhere in the mid 80s, 85, 86, something like that. No, not bad, not bad at all. Oiler's working good. Got a little bit of that dripping everywhere. You can't see much of the chain brake assembly with it assembled, but there's enough. One end of the band screws into the engine housing here. It comes around, connects to this brake flag uh, they didn't have to change much on the engine housings to make this work uh, for the most part uh, even the US models like for the pivot pin up here they're drilled or they're the recesses there they don't have the hole drilled for it but you can convert these uh, I'm trying to remember what I added a chain brake to one time but the boss was all there and it was just a matter of drilling the hole and mounting that pivot post so uh, yeah pretty cool saws you can hear this one's running pretty good uh, this had some pretty bad caramelized fuel in it uh, so initially the uh, the carburetor uh, inlet seat area for the needle was all gummed up and it's still still might have had just a smidge of residue because uh, it did slowly bleed off on a pressure test and it was definitely leaking there, but figure a little fuel in it will make everything happy. Dissolve that garbage and get it out of there. Other than that, yeah, this is a pretty cool saw and I'm happy to have it in the collection.